Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We've got a bit of stuff to offload. Just a little tiny bit. And, um... Yeah, I ran home in the rain yesterday, so I'm hoping that I don't end up sick or something like that, but... You never can tell. I dried off pretty quick with them here... With these here bath towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the... In the shelf where they belong. <clears throat> and hopefully I remember that they're there. That would be quite nice. And I should be remembering to close doors behind me. Lest I end up dead the next time I come home. Uh, baseball bat is looking in pretty good condition. I guess I got a new one of those. That's nice. Uh, fishing traps could probably go up to the, the fishing shack that we have up there. Uh, I'm gonna put the combination padlocks and the home alarms in this shelf. Hmm, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I think I... Hmm... I still have a bit too much weight on me, and I'm not seeing what it's from. Maybe from the empty bottle, something like that? I'm carrying more than I was. It, it's probably the axe and the, the fishing traps and whatnot. So we'll go drop those off. There is a farm in the in the far, far northwest, I guess I would call it, and I'm sort of interested in visiting that, but yeah, I don't know what necessarily we would do out there. We could probably set it up as a another tertiary base, but this is the base that has all the stuff, or most of the stuff at least. Got a lot of canned goods and things like that, and uh, yeah, in the in the fishing base as well. Oh, I probably should have filled up with some water. That would be a wise choice. <gasps> oh my god, I just climbed through a window. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> okay, scratch, bleeding, yeah. Let's disinfect that real quick. <laughs> god damn it. I was trying to open the door. Not climb through the window. Oh well. Practice on that first aid. <laughs> derpy derpy do. Well, we're uh, a little bit in pain, so my accuracy is not going to be as good as it would be. Fuck. What a stupid mistake to make. But alright, that's part of Project Zomboid, I do suppose. Is the sink off? I don't understand. I hear water dripping. Can I, can I do something in here? Is my mouse broken? Oh god. Maybe the water is off. The electricity's definitely still on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! SpaghettiOs! There we go. Fill the empty bottle. That's what I want to do. And then we'll have a little drinky. Okay. So, it was just that sink for some reason. Probably something sitting in front of it. Oh my! It's gonna take quite a while for this wound to heal. That's... <laughs> What a stupid mistake! I'm, I'm gonna beat myself up about that for just a little while longer. Oh man. Should probably drop off these fishing nets at the, the upper house, but... Yeah. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve nice things anymore. I don't understand. Why is anything? But that did uh, level my first aid just a little bit, I think. So, so that's uh, at least something. Something nice that came out of that. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. What a... what a newbie mistake. At least there wasn't any glass stuck in my arm, because then I would have to go get the tweezers and pick it out. But that's pretty manly, isn't it? Pulling glass out of your arm and shit. Feel like the Terminator. Actually, the Terminator would just, like, stick his hand up in the air, and then all the glass would fall out, and then the wounds would heal instantly, and you'd be like, what the fuck, are you a robot or something? And he'd be like, yes, I'm a robot. And I'd be like, why do you talk like that? And he'd be like, because I'm a robot. Arnold Schwarzenegger does talk like a robot. I think that's why he didn't get many movie roles before the Terminator. And then every everybody realized, wow, he talks like a robot. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's hire that guy for everything now. And he became the last action hero. You know, he, he started in a racer. That's a good one. Oh, this gas station is closer than I realized. I thought I was going to have to do quite a little bit of running. Basically, just want to check out the farm today. 
<clears throat> see what goes on up this way. It's quite a long jog, uh, but that's okay. We can talk more about Arnold Schwarzenegger, I can do the voice, people can say, wow, they did you really bad the voice, and I say, I know, I know I'm so bad at it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like, uh, I just saw this one clip from Mad TV. I don't watch Mad TV because it's about, like, the basest show that you can have. And I don't mean based in a good way, it's like, base humor. They're like, look, this guy talks weird and he has a wig! Ha ha ha! Isn't that hilarious? Kind of, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Please don't talk to me anymore. But it was, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about his clone movie. And he's talking about how he so has so many clones. And then the clone comes and he's teamed up with the angels. But then we go and have to fight the devil clone. And then I have a clone baby. Ah, go go gaga mama clone baby. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> if you don't, you probably just think I'm a fucking weirdo. But you probably think I'm a weirdo anyways. And that's not far from the truth. <laughs> it, let's be completely honest here. I've got some uh, thoughts and opinions that probably shouldn't be voiced. But I voice them anyways. Because I don't know. I don't know, I just want to make some, some YouTube videos and stuff. And if you just, uh, I mean, you could do it with no commentary, but that's so sad. I never watch those videos. It's not something that I like, so I I assume that people wouldn't like it. But really, what do I know? You know? <laughs> not a whole lot. I'm running down the wrong side of the road, I think. Yeah, I am. So if a car comes, we're definitely gonna get hit. That's not going to be good. I'm going to cry lots and lots. Get my fir first aid up when I heal my eight broken ribs. And my shattered legs. <laughs> Oh, here's a turn in the road. I think this is the right way. Hmm, I'm not really sure. But I do know there is a, a farm somewhere in the northwest. I don't want to run too much. I've got moderate exertion. That zombie groaning in my left ear. Wow. That was, uh, sexual. <laughs> sexual zombie. Have you ever seen Hot Bodies? That's a movie. A, a zombie love story. Just because they were like, I want to do something different. Everybody likes love stories. Everybody likes zombie movies. Let's make a rom-com zombie movie. Oh my God, it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> That's probably about how the uh, the board meeting went. <laughs> Just three people sitting there screaming. <laughs> well, let's remove this dirty bandage. Got to change my bandages because I cut myself like an idiot. Here's some more uh, disinfectant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stick some more bandage on there. And I think I can wash the dirty bandages. That was a thing that I remember doing. But where is the dirty bandage? I don't see it anywhere. Oh well. Maybe it just disappears. This blood-soaked bandage just, just vanished. That's like magic or something. I pulled it off and it just dissolved into the air. That would be pretty cool. Somebody needs to invent that so I don't see any more dirty band-aids just fucking floating in a public pool. <laughs> That's about the worst thing ever. Ever, ever. I hate it with all that I am. Oh, another little road trip. Never hurt nobody. My god. I really don't uh, know where I'm going. I'm just kind of following the road hoping that it'll lead to something interesting. It's still early in the morning. 7.50? I mean, 8 o'clock in the morning. I normally wouldn't be up now, but I don't have a computer to keep me up all night, so... That's a little bit, uh, a little bit different from what I'm used to. Hmm, I could look at my map, but I would consider that cheating, especially while I'm actually in-game trying to play this thing. Trying to do the whatevers. I really wanted to make this kind of like, a. Uh, a roleplay series, but it's super hard to roleplay when you're in the third person. I just break myself out of it constantly. Oh, there's some rotten berries, so we have been this way before. Hmm, I bet it's gonna lead me back to the trailer park. Trailer park, boys! And I don't really like that trailer park because, um... Yeah, there's only one exit from the trailer. One entrance, one exit. So you either have to beat the zombies to death if they break in, uh, and if there's enough of them to break in, then you're probably gonna 
not be able to beat them all to death. <laughs> or you have to uh, unbarricade a window and jump out that way. Or you could juke the zombies, I guess, if you uh, if you got some skills. Really, they're kind of dumb and slow. So if you just run around them and uh, make them think you're going that way, and then you go the other way. It's simple. Not as simple as you think. <laughs> it's actually quite complicated, if you want me to be honest. Hmm. I was uh, thinking about also loading up uh, I Will Back Up My Save which is the the beta version of Project Zomboid, where they have the cars and all that shit. But I really don't want this save to crash. I'll have to back it up somewhere and then uh, continue backing it up every time I do an episode and it would just be a pain in the ass. So instead, I'll just sit here and complain and say, why don't we have cars yet? I don't understand why we don't have cars yet. It's no fair that we don't have cars yet. Is that is that how we do it? I think that's how we do it. Look, the grass is dead over here. It was nice and green over there, and then it, it all of a sudden died. Excuse me, zombie. I don't have time to play with you right now. My exertion's quite high. Don't you see? My legs hurt. Actually, after this long, my legs probably wouldn't hurt at all. They'd be so muscly. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> I smoke weed after I work out. It helps to relax my muscles. Yes. My blunt maintenance, fucking huge. Blade maintenance, nothing, nothing at all. Blade accuracy, piss poor. So I basically have uh, chosen my skill path for this. I'm really impressed by how many skill points I've gotten. I've never gotten this many skill points when we played Project Zomboid with Plantosh. Aww, I miss Plantosh. You want me to be completely honest? I wish that guy would come back, but I understand. I understand if you don't want to let's play or it's not going the way that you'd hope because it's not fucking easy. I've been doing it for three years almost, something like that. I think it was three years in May. <laughs> and uh, yeah, growth is pretty slow unless you're doing extremely new games, buying them as soon as they come out, things like that. I basically depend on uh, developers that send me review keys and stuff. I don't really have the extra income to buy new games and stuff. Uh, I did set up a Patreon hoping that that would boost income just a little bit and I could put it towards the channel, but that didn't pan out so well. Uh, probably because I never talk about it. I'm just like, eh, people will see it. Well, nobody's really seen it. This is the first time I've actually uh, opened my mouth and talked about it. Uh, I'll probably need to rework rewards and stuff like that too because... Now I'm in the Philippines, so if you want to do a hangout, you'll have to get on at like midnight or some shit like that. Or I'll have to get up super early, which ain't gonna happen. As I stated earlier, 8 o'clock in the morning is like, what? Are you kidding me, dude? I thought this was food. I thought there was at least some food in this clothing store. Oh well. Bargain clothes. Hell yeah. I think we've been here before. Is there the spiffos across the street? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that right there. Did I talk about Jollibee in one of these episodes? I know I was talking about fast food mascots. I talked about how much I fucking love Wendy's. And if I see a Wendy's, I'm gonna go there. I don't care if I just ate. I'm gonna go there and get a Frosty. And I know there's a Wendy's in the Philippines, but it's probably in, like, Manila or something like that. I live in, like, a relatively small town in the Philippines. There's not a whole lot here, but that's okay. Everything's okay here. Let's have a little rest and get rid of this exertion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, Jollibee is the Filipino version of McDonald's, basically. It's, um, not great, to be quite honest. <laughs> but, you know, they, they tried, I guess. It's really successful, um, although I can't put my finger on why. I guess it's just because, you know, the kids. The kids want to eat there all the time. You walk past the fucking Jollibee and all the kids are like, Ah, Jollibee! It's like, ugh. Do you, do you not want to go somewhere better? We could go to like a steakhouse. We could go get some chicken. We could do anything. Jollibee does serve fried chicken. Fried chicken and spaghetti is big in the Philippines, which is... <laughs> it seemed like a really awkward combination to me at first. And then I tried it and I'm like, huh. 
Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I think I have to go up this way to uh, find the, the farm that I was looking for. Let's just have a little sneaky peeky. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna tell me anything. Okay, yeah. It is far, far up this way. Well, it seemed like it was far to even get this way, so who knows. We'll probably get there by nightfall, something like that. And uh, I don't know why I rested to get my exertion off if I was just going to start running again. But that's how it goes sometimes. I don't make the smartest choices. Sometimes I eat at Jollibee. Ho oh, ho! Burn! Burn! Fucking burn! <laughs> uh, it's, it's red. Red is their color, and they've got like a big red smiling bee for a mascot. I know I've talked about this, because I talked about how fucking horrifying bees are. Well, point is, I, I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, if you can brainwash the kids, your your restaurant's gonna be successful. That's, that's what you gotta aim for. You gotta just get the children, get them while they're young. And then they're like, oh, I want to go to McDonald's. McDonald's fucking sucks, dude. Do you not understand? Yeah, but they got Happy Meal toys. Who gives a shit? I don't think Jollibee even has Happy Meal toys. They, they don't even have Happy Meals. The kids just want to go there because there's a fucking bee on the sign. And he's smiling. And there's no play place. Oh my god. It's becoming more and more of a mystery the more and more I talk about it. This is somewhat like therapy for me. I just talk things through with myself, you know? <laughs> and sometimes that's the best thing that you can do. You're just like, okay, let's sit down. Let's think about this for just a moment. And uh, maybe some answers will come to me. Generally, uh, yeah, voicing things out loud is easier to talk things through than voicing things in your head. Because if you try to voice some stuff in your head, all this other shit comes flying in. And uh, thoughts come basically too fast. But if you're vocalizing things, then you have to stop and think about what you're going to say next. Hmm. See there, I was thinking about what I was going to say next. I didn't come up with nothing. How about uh, just like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's because I'm too much of a meathead. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you're watching this. You were a great governor of my state. He really was. He uh, had lots of conservative policies, and he fixed the budget for California as much as their shitty budget can be fixed. Because really, California is uh, deep, deep in the shit. And that's mostly because of their like liberal fiscal policies. They're like, eh, just give everybody free stuff. That's cool. <laughs> Like, well, what about the people that are actually working for this stuff? Oh, fuck them. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Fuck them. <laughs> it's so sad. And then uh, the more I see the country start to, to swing liberal, I'm like, mm, it's not going to be good, you guys. It's going to be real bad. <clears throat> Venezuela had, like, um, communism going and people were starving and shit because... <laughs> Obviously, people are just going to take whatever they want from the store. You know, they're going to take more than they need. And then, uh, yeah, they started eating, like, flamingos and boars and all kinds of shit in Venezuela. People were starving. It's not really that funny, except the fact that they were eating flamingos. Exotic cuisine! Communism lets you try exotic cuisine! <laughs> and then, uh, a bunch of fucking people got kidnapped recently. Um, they were having a... A government meeting and uh, what they will call a terrorist organization. I'm on the side of uh, anti-communism, so I'll call them re revolutionaries, rebel fighters. Came in and uh, they kidnapped a bunch of fucking politicians and exploded some bombs in the building and shit like that. And it's like, whoa, whoa, heavy shit. And uh, of course, there's a news blackout. You don't hear any of that talk on. Um, the US radio or TV <laughs> radio like anybody listens to the radio anymore maybe on their smartphone iHeartRadio app or some shit like that but come on come on nobody listens to that shit it's a dying media the internet's gonna take over everything 
that 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 much I am sure of. But anyways, um, yeah, CNN, MSNBC, even Fox News, they're not going to cover it because it uh, falls out of line with their narrative that that free stuff is good and we should be helping out all the people in the country and giving them free health care and food and everything else that they need. Which, yeah, communism's a fucking terrifying thing if you stop to think about it. Like, you would have a government-run grocery store, government-run cell phone company, government-run everything, and if I'm taking cues from, like, the DMV or some shit like that, that's absolutely fucking horrifying. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way I want to be a part of that. I, like, got no service, so I'm like, okay... My cell phone sucks, I guess I'll, uh, yeah, I can't even call them. I'll go into the fucking office and wait for four hours to talk to somebody who basically says, we can't do anything. You'll just have to wait, sir. Sir, please wait two to three weeks. <laughs> you think I got two to three weeks to not have a cell phone? I mean, yeah, I haven't had a cell phone for years. Years and years. And then I came to the Philippines and finally bought one, basically just to keep in touch with, with my wife when we split up. We can uh, call each other, and she can be like, Can you send me this or that? I need a photo of the electric bill, because I'm here to pay the bill, but I forgot to bring it. And I'm like, cool. Smartphone action. Choo -choo. And, uh, yeah. I don't realize how much I, I miss it, you know? But if it's gone, it's definitely something that I can live without. I don't, I don't give that much of a fuck, to be honest. <clears throat> if I ain't got it, I ain't got it. I'm not the type that uh, puts a bunch of needs on myself when they're really wants, you know? I've got a house, I've got water, I've got food, okay, we're good, basically. And internet, that's the only thing, that's the only want that would definitely go under the needs category for me. But uh, yeah, I see a lot of people that live their life differently. They're like, why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? It's like, well, do you really need it? <laughs> Do you need a cell phone? Do you need a, uh, whatever fucking Versace bag? Do you need it? Just buy a knockoff for 20 bucks on the street corner, dude. Everybody's gonna be fooled except the people who know that it's not, and the people that know that it's not are the people that you probably want to impress. But you shouldn't want to impress them because they're the douchebags anyways. The people that I want to hang out with are the people that don't really give a shit. They're like, oh, whatever. Cool bag, bro. Thanks. Thanks, man. It's apparently Versace. It might be Versace. <laughs> I don't know. I bought it from this guy on the street corner. He said it fell off a truck. Maybe it did. It's got a scratch on it. Maybe I put that scratch there. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Oh, here go the dogs. Here go the fucking dogs again. Every day, at least 50 times a day, the neighbor's dogs, they've got like 20 of them. And sometimes they all get going together, and it's just like, oh, oh, to have an assault rifle. <laughs> just go out on the balcony and like, pop, pop. Not not shoot all of them, you know? Maybe not even shoot at them. Just make, make a noise that's louder than the noise that they're making, and they'll stop immediately. That's a good solution. That's a good solution. You shouldn't have to kill the dogs, you know? They're innocent. They don't know what they're doing. They're just like, there's a thing over there. Let's let everybody know about the thing. Hey, hey, everybody come over here. And then the 18 other dogs run over and they're like, ow, oh, hey, there's a thing. Everybody, look, everybody, anybody not here, come and look at the thing. And then the last dog who's kind of retarded runs over there. The retarded dog is super skinny, though. He's got like cross-eyed and he's he's like super scrawny. You can like see his ribs and shit. He's probably got worms, honestly. Uh, people in the Philippines don't take great care of their dogs, obviously. Um, like I told you guys in a previous episode, my, my mother-in-law, my wife's mom, has a dog that has polio. It's like, obviously, you didn't vaccinate the dog. And then we were hanging out at, uh, at her house in the compound. There's actually, like, uh, I guess it's four or five houses that are pretty close together, and one of the neighbors had a dog. Really, really cute puppy. And uh, me and my girlfriend, wife, are like, hey, I want that puppy. And they're like, okay, let's, let me think about that for a little bit. So um, basically, they said no without saying no. 
They just told us, let's think about it, and never gave us a straight answer. And then uh, about a week later, we come back and we're like, hey, where'd that puppy go? And they're like, oh, it died. It had worms. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? We, we asked for it. We would have dewormed the stupid thing. God damn it. <sighs> so the puppy died for no reason. No reason at all. I'm not sure which way to go. I think I should keep going up this way. Maybe. Oh man. We're gonna get lost in the woods, aren't we? I just wanna I just wanna have a good time. I know this farm is not gonna be as packed as the mall or anything, but it it could be promising. There might be uh something that we can use out this way. Really, I'm never gonna fucking find my way back out here. <laughs> I would have to basically set up shop out here and become a wild man, start foraging and all this shit, which I don't trust the berries, okay? I'm gonna die from poisoning. Apparently I'm not dying from a cold, which I'm really thankful for, especially since I'm out on the road. I don't have a whole lot of, a whole lot of uh, things to take care of it at the moment. There's no cold pills in Project Zomboid. You basically just hang around your house. Don't exert yourself too much, make sure you're well fed and well watered, and hope that everything goes fine. Uh, speaking of well fed, feeling a little bit hungry, let us get this MRE going. Oh, it's so delicious. 50 hungers for me. Mm. Just a little peckish, but that's fine. Sorry about that, I had to go say hi to my mother-in-law. Speak of the devil! <laughs> And then they show up. See, that's just how it go. Not what I was talking about. God damn. Oh well. <clears throat> that's just fine. Wants versus needs. Dogs in the Philippines. Something like that. I, I just don't know anymore. I just don't know. Doors open and closing all around me. I'm distracted as shit. You want me to be <laughs> real honest? <sighs> I'm just trying to make an episode. This is the first uh, early morning episode. It's not even that early in the morning. It's uh, about 11.30 now, but it's pretty early for me to get started on this. I'm usually like a, a night owl kind of person. I like to sit down around 6 or 7, but when you got a family, that's a bit harder to do. So I'm going to have to adjust the schedule just a little bit to make sure that the content happens. You can still... Uh, do let's plays when you got a family you know i could have been like well i'm getting married <laughs> this shit's over for me but uh i'm pretty determined to make let's play a thing uh, a permanent fixture of my life it's a really nice creative release and yeah i enjoy talking with my subscribers when they leave comments and i enjoy talking to myself whenever i make a video <laughs> ah it's uh yeah like i said Super good therapy, much like stand-up comedy was for me. Um, I did that for about a year, year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, and there's a few videos on YouTube if you want to look those up. I don't think I did that great of a job looking back, but, you know, it was enjoyable at the very least. I put my, uh, my myself out there, my views out there, and uh, as long as it's in the form of a joke, some people are going to be like, hey... That was pretty cool. Or, you know, you can make people look at things in a different way. And uh, I think that's the point of my, my Let's Plays as well. I really enjoy, uh, you know, making people think. That's why that whole uh, communism discussion got started. Stuff like that. I might start making some uh, videos on current events and things like that. Although there are a lot of uh, talk channels and stuff like that who just... Make a 10 minute video, put it up with some gameplay footage, and uh, there you go. <clears throat> Honestly, it's it's an interesting direction to take the channel. Uh, it might be something that I try sometime in the future, as long as I can, uh, you know, do it on the day. I think that's the most important part. Like that Venezuela thing, when this episode's released, it will have been uh, probably five or six days ago, which in internet time is fucking massive. <laughs> It's basically an eternity, and that's also why I freak out a little bit when I uh, miss episodes and stuff like that. I really want to keep the uh, the channel going. Don't want to let people think that I'm dead. <laughs> I 
That kind of cracks me up when people get on Twitter and they're like, are you okay? It's like, yeah, dude, I'm still tweeting. I'm just not, uh, not posting videos on YouTube. So I think, I think that's pretty sweet that people do care about me, about my existence. <laughs> um, yeah, gives me a reason to, to keep breathing, you know? Oh, is that the path to the farm up that way? Is it? I can't remember. Let me have a little peeky. Sneaky peeky, like I said, I wouldn't. No, it's not. There's going to be one more split in the road, and it's going to be up that way. It's not that far. I mean, this is a fucking huge journey. I don't think I'll probably make this more than once. But uh, if I could secure the farm, that would be a rather good idea. Oh, and there's finally a fucking zombie. Haven't seen zombies for a while, bro. And there seems to be uh, quite a few of them out this way. What the fuck? You guys just uh, smelled the ponies? Came over here to, to have a little snacky snack? Oh my god. It's not as bad as the mall, so I'm not scared. But uh, yeah, my exertion's super high, so I can't stop to clear them out either. Pony Romo. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's like Tony Romo, except with ponies. <clears throat> Are there any uh, horses left over here? That might be a good substitute for a car. The only gas you need to give it is like some hay or some shit like that. A little bit of alfalfa sprouts and they're good to go. Oh, let's have a look in the barn. Got power cord, nails. I don't need any of this shit. What I need is a, a safe place to find a lie down. Oh god. So many zombies. So many dogs barking. I really hope this episode didn't come out as uh, shitty as I think it will. <laughs> oh god, there's a zombie in here. Fuck that. Oh, damn. <clears throat> but yeah, that's kind of the trouble with Project Zomboid is we've got one take to do it and uh, it, it is what it is, basically. If it's fucked up, then um, I basically have to upload the fucked up episode. Because if I end up just teleporting to this farm, people will be like, what the fuck? How'd you get there? I, I don't know. It just seemed to happen. Oh, God. There's no uh, sheets or anything. I should have planned this out a little bit better. Maybe I can use a tissue to cover the window. Yeah, that'll be great. Just lick it and stick it, bro. God. I don't think this is the only section of the farm, so hopefully I'm not going to pass out or anything on the run over there. Uh, I think there's just a little bit more, maybe up the road. I don't know where this fucking road ends. I don't know where anything begins. Oh look, a farmer's market. How nice. It's all going to be rotten because we took three months to get out here, but that's fine. I just want to have a little look-see. Maybe you got some pickles? You got some pickles? Nope. Zucchinis, pineapples, radishes. It's all bad. Oh. And this lady's coming after me. It's all bad. Man. This is not gonna be pretty. Gotta keep running. Gotta keep moving. Oh, wow. There's another house. But I've got uh, quite a few zombies coming after me. This house looks like it has curtains on the plus side. Hopefully I can just uh, swoop these zombies. No zombies in here? Yep, there's one. But that's fine. Here's a bed. That's uh, the most important part. We ended up making it all the way out here. Oh, and a captain's hat. Oh, I wish I could dress my little guy up. He would be like the captain of the zombie apocalypse or something like that. We call him Lieutenant Dan. Maybe if I just rest up a little bit, I could, uh, I could take that zombie out in the living room. Because <clears throat> it's not going to be good if I go to sleep with a fucking zombie wandering around the living room. Maybe he'll hear me snoring or something. Oh, and now I'm in danger of passing out. Oh, fart. It's 7.30 at night. Let's, let's see about this zombie real quick. It's okay. I think there's just one. Bam. Brained. Bo 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 bitch Alright. What do we got in here? Hard hat. Nails. Wood crate. 
So we probably uh, board up some of these windows, but ain't no time for that now. Dayton is sweepy. So sweepy. Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you will join me in the next episode when we explore the farm. Uh, I have the the rest now to, to beat these zombies up and clear it out just a little bit. So that should be fun. Oh, I also have to change my bandage. That's a good idea. Oh, I also have to eat a little uh, a little din din. Here we go. Nom 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 nom. Good. Wonderfully done. And uh, just make sure I'm all disinfected. Yeah, this scratch, it's not a good thing. I hear a zombie pounding already. God damn it. I'll have to go find that guy as well. I don't want to take any risks. Is he pounding on my... Hey! What are you doing in here? Probably gonna end up breaking this window. Come over here. Come over here. I don't know where you came from. It doesn't matter. We were hiding. Thought I checked every room, but somehow she phased through the wall. Not good. She would have broke that window, let all her friends in. Living room could have been a shit show when I woke up. Anyways, once again, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope you won't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode, and I really hope you did, uh, despite my constant interruptions. Um, just, just trying to churn out some content, you know? Keep the people happy. Keep myself happy, too. Anyways, um, I'll see you in the next one. We'll explore the farm a little bit, and, uh, maybe make our way back home if there's not jack shit out here. Uh, but who knows? It could, it could be rife with loot, which is what I was hoping, but, uh, it's a long walk back. <clears throat> so that's gonna be a, probably a creepypasta episode in and of itself. So, Please enjoy all of the Zomboid content that I have produced thus far, um, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world. Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, 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 see you, my friends.